Hello everybody. So today's video is just how to add a circuit breaker, a two pole 30 or 50 amp circuit breaker to your sub panel, I mean to your to your panel. And that's also to add a 240 volt outlet. This is specifically geared towards the mining community. I haven't really seen any good videos out there on how to do this and I'm not an electrician by any means. I've never done this before, but all it takes is some basic research. Take your time, do your research. So I want to show you a few things that I used or needed for this job. Go get yourself a basic wiring and electrical repair uh, manual or like a Black & Decker book just like this. You can get this at Barnes & Noble, Walmart, and Amazon, five to 10 bucks. This you really want to read into, especially if you're going into mining, this tells you all the basic stuff you'll need to know. You'll have a, you'll need to get a 10 gauge by two. And the 10 gauge is the minimum for this 240 volt. And this is just something you wanna go for. You don't wanna do eight gauge, you don't wanna do 12, just stay with 10. That's the number you want. And two is what you actually need. You don't need to get a three, you just get 10 by two. The reason is because you're gonna need the two wires on here, which are both each is going to be running 120, 120 to equal 240 because they'll be connecting together on one circuit breaker. Then you have the ground wire. You're going to need a box cutter and knife to cut back into this, a flathead, and a cross screwdriver. I went with the cable staples, and that's what you see running throughout the wall here. Basic to the point. That's all I need. It doesn't need to look pretty. You can use PVC piping, conduit, like there's so many other ways you can do this, but uh, I'm not look, going for looks. I'm just going for practicality. Some wire strippers. Doesn't have to be this one. Get whatever you want. And you want to make sure it has at least for 10 because that's what you're going to be cutting off. Some needle nose pliers to bend the wiring because this is really tough. Believe it or not, uh, you're gonna have a hard time doing it. Just make your life easier by go getting some. Of course, you're gonna get the specific outlet. And I got this on Amazon. This is gonna be the cheapest and geared to be the best for your mining. And let's see if I can get a close up here. There we go. So Levington 2620. And there's everything you need to know. Tape measure, and the tape measure is to measure um, from the ground to where you want the outlet. That's just what I did, and I used the point of reference of measurement from the other outlets in the garage. Some, some cable uh, cutters, and that's just to cut through the unnecessary wire and you don't need a hammer because I used the hammer to, to put these uh, cable staples on the wall. Very basic stuff that you need here, and you can get the job done. And of course, flashlight. So, this is the panel. This is what I pulled off. Um, obviously, right here, mine just had six uh, flathead screws. Screw them off, and here you can see the main breaker. Now, this is where you want to be extra careful. Um, everything is hot in this panel, and there are some houses, newer homes, I believe or just in certain areas where you're able to just flip one switch to flip everything off. And so um, what I did was I just worked around it and just left it as is. These will always be on, so just use common sense, read the book if you're going to get into this. Um, knowledge goes a long way in this predicament. A lot of this stuff is hot, okay? As you read through the manual, you'll learn more about this. And uh, to make this rule, I wanted to make this video super sweet to the point. So this is, uh, you want to make sure that you're getting the same company of breakers. As you see here, these are from the original home and in the, in the panel. Square D, I believe is called the company. And what I did is what I just looked on Lowe's.com, looked for that specific uh that model which is the 
DP4075, and that is matching for the rest of these breakers here. Now what I did, I went for a two pole 30 amp breaker. And that's just because that's what I need for my mining situation. Now the reason you need two, a two pole opposed to a one is because two pole, uh, each pole is holding 120. Now if they're together, like right here, you see two of these wires, 120 is right here, 120 equals 240. And they're all connected together to make that 240. And so, what I did here is I lifted it up just to show just how easy this is. You angle this in, and as you see there, that's where you're gonna push, push down on this part. And of course, make sure this breaker is off. When you're doing this, you don't wanna make contact with any metal parts. This is plastic where I'm touching. Same thing here, you don't wanna to touch that. Those, the, those are gonna be hot once you've connected this portion. And of course, when you're looking at your panel, you want to make sure you even have room here. And I barely had enough left for, for this configuration. So you're going to push in and just, once again, be careful with it. And you're going to have to give it a little bit of a tug there or push. And it's set in. You want to double check. Boom. Good to go. So this is hot now because it's already made contact. It's off. I still would not even trust i would not even touch anywhere near this now what i did obviously is all this stuff is already completed but what i did was i wired these into the breaker before i put this on and this is just to show you what i did and so all you need to do is let me see if i can get some light in here so as you see I'm putting the, you're just driving in each cable into each, um, I guess, outlet or whatever you want to call it into each one right there. And you're running up that wire through one of these, these holes and these are called knockouts. And if there's still uh, some holes left here, you can just use a flathead and you just use the hammer and you just knock it through literally. And up top, you're gonna to wanna to make an incision. Now what I used was just a flat head and I banged with the hammer into the sheetrock and you just wanna do this very slowly, carefully to make sure you're not hitting any other wires. Obviously I aimed for where there's no other wiring because there was nothing here until now. Run the feed through and this is just the way that I did it. And I took this apart just so that you can get an idea of what, what this 240 volt was looking like. And so that's the configuration you're gonna want if you're gonna be doing mining. Now let me see if I can get some, do this one-handed. So what I did was I had our, this is already installed. I've just pulled off the, the housing to it so you can see. And okay, so I pulled back, pulled out this outlet so you can see how I did this. And um, that green screw is going to be your ground. At the same time, you want to first make contact with the the bot or the junction box, whatever you want to call it, ground screw. You want to wrap it around just like that. Wrap it around, and then you want to put that point of contact in there. Now, it doesn't matter which hot lead you go to because they're both 120. And, um, yeah, you're just literally going to put the feed the wire through and screw it down with a flathead or a cross. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, hopefully this video has been informative. I just know that there wasn't much information on this. People weren't straightforward about how to do this. And I can sort of understand that why. 
Um, it definitely took some time just because I wanted to be super careful about not getting electrocuted and die, possibly dying. Now, this is not finished by means. I still need to, I still need to set this, put the housing back. But I've actually already tested the outlet. It's good to go. It's running 240, and that's pretty much it.